Hi, Jenna Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about when people say dumb things, especially if you're grieving. And this could be the loss of anything. It could be you had a breakup in a relationship, you got laid off from your job, or you lost a loved one, which was my situation. This happens a lot with women who have miscarriages. A lot of times people just don't know what to say, and so they say something that is well-meaning, but is insensitive and offensive <laughs> sometimes. Uh, so I just wanted to address this issue because I had to deal with it, not from too many people. For the most part, people were great and loving and uh, sensitive and thoughtful and supportive. But I had a couple of incidents, and I'm going to share one of them with you because I was like, really? <laughs> uh, there was somebody that I had to be dealing with a lot after my mom's passing to take care of her, some of her affairs. And this person is a really nice person. I always had a great relationship with this person. And they happened to call one day and, and there had been a lot of things coming up that were stressing me out that they required me to do, but they weren't really giving me any guidance. So I was doing the best I can. And they kept going, no, that's not right. And so I was already frustrated with this person. And they happened to call one day and I was going through stuff in my mom's room. And at the moment, I was going through some of her jewelry and trying to uh, separate it out, what family might want, what I was going to see if we might want to sell and what I was just going to give to Goodwill. And so it's a sentimental thing. And I was already kind of in a sensitive state. This was only a couple of weeks after she had passed. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this person called to talk to me about some business stuff. And in the middle of the conversation, because, you know, my reactions were like, uh-huh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll take care of that. I just didn't have a lot of energy. <laughs> in the middle of the conversation, this person goes, gee, Tanny, you sound down. What's wrong? And I was like, seriously? I, I, <laughs> I was like, what the F would make you call? Oh, my God. So I had to stop and pause. And I said, gee, I don't know. Maybe it's because my mom just died. I'm gonna have to clean out a house with 69 years worth of stuff where I've been on hold taking care of her full time all these years. I'm exhausted, I'm overwhelmed, I'm grieving. Gee, I don't know. And I'm going through her jewelry right now and that's sentimental. And this person said to me, oh, I understand what you're going through. My mom just passed away. My sister just sent me some of her jewelry. And I was like, Oh my God, I, I, I can't. <laughs> so from that moment on, I was like, I need to speak to this person as little as possible. Again, best of intentions, trying to relate their situation to mine, but it didn't. So let's look at this for just one second. You want to comfort somebody. You want to be there for them when they're going through something. And if you don't know what to say, don't say anything. Just give them a hug. Or just say something very generic, uh, like, I'm here for you if you need anything. But you know what? I heard somebody say recently when they had suffered a loss, somebody famous, I'm not going to mention their name, that that's not a good thing to say either because now it's pressure on the person to, to figure out what they need from you. And I'm like, oh my God, really? Okay, that's going too far. I appreciate it when someone says, I'm here if you need anything, let me know. I like that. Everybody's different and you can't always say something that's going to comfort somebody. You can only do your best. But like I said, if you don't know what to say and you're totally uncomfortable, don't say anything. Just give them a hug or, or just say, I'm here for you. Or just say, I'm sorry. Sometimes that is all you need to do because you might have the best of intentions, but you might say something that would piss them off and make them feel worse. So, I'm trying to understand when people come to me and say things, trying to be comforting, and really there hasn't been a lot of stuff that's pissed me off like that one comment, but that was a doozy. That was just the most over the top, and I couldn't even believe the words. But here's the other thing to keep in mind too. When somebody's going through something and you've had a similar experience or the same experience, you might say, oh, I understand what you're going through. That is not always the best thing because even though you go through the same thing, it might not be exactly the same. Like somebody who lost their mother who lived across the country and they only saw her a couple times a year, they're not going to understand what I'm going through 
having been with my mom 24 seven for 15 years. So while I appreciate what they're saying, no, they don't understand. You weren't caring for your mom full time for many, many years and putting your life on hold. So again, I have to be sensitive and realize it's not the same. And you know, if, if you've lost a child, Every situation is different and, you know, it is good to have support with people who've been through something similar, but you just have to tread lightly with people. And a lot of people tend to want to share their story like, oh, I understand what you're going through. Here's my experience. And I read an article about this recently. I thought this was so interesting that there are these two kinds of conversations where there's a narcissistic conversation response and then there's an empathetic conversation and response where someone just listens and says, yes, I'm here for you. And you just are an ear for them to vent or grieve or whatever they need from you. And then there's this other narcissistic response where it's like, oh yeah, I understand. Well, let me tell you about what I went through. And then you're kind of putting that person on hold and going, okay, I've heard enough of you. Let's talk about me. And again, that may not be the intention, but I've had a lot of that. And I love my husband, but he does this to me all the time. And I point that out to him. Uh, you know, there was one time I had a car accident years ago and it was very upsetting. And when I got home from, cause it was on the way home from work. And when I got home, I called him and told him what happened. And he immediately went into a story of a car accident he had had like 30 years before. And I was so pissed that he wasn't there for me. That was his way of trying to be there for me. But for me, that was not to me. That was not being there. For me. And so I, I don't know if I hung up on him, but I got off the phone really quick because I was just pissed. This is when we were just dating. And I just, I called my parents. <laughs> and so my parents came over and were there for me. And that's all I needed. I, I don't need someone to relay their story of what they went through. So if someone is going through something, please don't relay your own story unless you're in a support group. And that is the theme of the gathering and everybody is supposed to be sharing their stories. When you're one-on-one -on -one with somebody, a family member, a friend, a coworker, someone that you're close to who's been through something, please just listen and be there for them and just keep your stuff to a minimum. Just say, I'm sorry. I'm here for you. I'm here if you need anything. And I guess avoid going, what can I do for you? I don't know. <laughs> like that one person said, that's a terrible thing to say. I don't agree with that. But, but also the thing is they might not know what they need. So just telling people I'm here for you. I'm sorry. That can be enough. And that's been enough for me. So I'm just, I'm sorry. Uh, I appreciate that. So just keep that in mind when somebody is going through something and you don't know what to say or you want to have some kind of response, you want to let them know that you care and how much you feel for them, you can do it by keeping it minimal, keeping it simple, and not pissing them off. <laughs> so that's my message for you today. I'm going to keep this short and simple. Just heed this advice and you won't piss anybody off, hopefully. And if you do, you've done the best you can and that's all you can do. Again, best of intentions. Everybody's got the best of intentions. So as long as you're coming from that good place, that's all you can do. You can't always control if you piss somebody off. So I hope uh, this didn't piss you off. <laughs> know why it would but I'm glad that you're here with me so that's making me happy so thank you for being here with me once again and if you enjoy these videos remember to subscribe and if you would like them delivered to your inbox every Friday jump over to my website tannamarshall.com join the mailing list you'll get the video with a message from me that only goes out to my list every Friday morning and as always I so appreciate you being here thank you so much and I always want to try and uh, give you support and comfort if you're going through anything so if you've suffered a loss I'm sorry. And that's all I'm going to say. So with that, I want to wish you a great weekend. Hopefully if you are going through something, you can let it go a little bit and try to enjoy yourself and go have some fun and some joy and bring some joy back into your life this weekend. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.